Who is the best sporting clay shot in Britain? Well, that's what we're here to find out. We're at Barbary Shooting School on the Marlborough Downs in Wiltshire for the CPSA's British Open Sporting Championship. It's the climax of the sporting clay season, and the ground have really pushed the boat out to make sure it's an event to remember. The first thing that catches your eye as you approach the ground is this massive straw bale castle, which is the backdrop to the last stand of the course. Barbara's Josh Brown explains where the idea came from. I can't really take the credit for that. So um, Ian came to me, Ian Parker came to me from the CPSA and he said, oh, I said, Josh, I want to do something cool for Stand 15. Last year we had the, the trailer which we shot out of at the English and I, he sort of said, oh, Stand 15 is quite cool to do something different. So um, he said, well, in, in America we shot out of a, a straw bale castle. So I said, well, okay, we can we sort of anything up for a challenge. So um, the idea was shooting through a straw, inside a straw bale castle, so it was a little bit sort of health and safety wise, we weren't too sure. So we, uh, we sort of thought, well, we'll make it as a feature, as a backdrop for the stand. And uh, it's turned out, I mean, I don't know what I had in mind, but it's turned out a lot better than I thought. So yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Edward King from ASI is here with event sponsors Rizzini and he's enjoying the atmosphere. Literally wearing a Rizzini hat. Yes, Rizzini and ASI are sponsoring this competition again. Uh, I think this is the third year in a row that we've done it and uh, very much enjoying the opportunities that, that we're offered here. Being this style of competition with the numbers of, of top shooters that come here, it's a perfect place to meet known faces and meet some new ones and talk to them about the product. Well, we have got a couple of people uh, shooting our guns out there. In the, uh, in the juniors and the Colts, we've, uh, Dan King has been uh, out there doing very well. Uh, Barney Eastman has, has equally uh, shot well and we've got a couple of the, the seniors with uh, Rizzini hats on so quite exciting and it's nice to see the, uh, the Rizzini name getting a bit of traction now uh, amongst the, uh, the, the competition shooters. There are more than 1,250 clay shooters booked in to shoot the competition and among them you'll find all the top names in the sport including legends like George Digweed, Richard Folds, Sam Green, Richard Bunning and Mark Windsor. On their day, any one of those is capable of winning the title. But the British Open is a long, hard slog, with a 120-bird qualifying course, then a 75-bird final to get into the high-pressure six-man super final that will decide the ultimate winner. So which of them will emerge as king of the castle and lift the historic Daily Telegraph Cup as the 2022 British Open sporting champion? As well as the signature castle, Josh has laid on an interesting variety of targets to test the shooter's skill. This dropping rabbit is proving difficult to hit. Then there's this tricky pair of crossers. Each day the top four from each class and top three in each category win a place in Sunday's final. One of the first to qualify is Richard Folds, shooting 112 out of 120 on the first day. As the week goes on, he's joined by the usual suspects, including George Digweed, Mark Windsor, last year's runner-up Sam Usher, and Browning shooter Sam Green. Running alongside the main sporting event is the British Open Sport Trap Championship, which concludes on Saturday. George Digweed has shot a phenomenal 97 out of 100, which is enough to win the title outright. No need for a shoot-off here. Right, we're do heads and tails, yeah? Sam Green takes third place and wins 250 cartridges, which he won't be needing, so he's giving them away to a local youngster. He just has to decide which one. So there's three young lads there, and we just did heads or tails for the 250 cartridges for them. So, um, and the young lad won at the heads or tails, so I give him, donate my 250 cartridges to the young lad. Thank you. So, yeah, he gives something back. <laughs> yeah, shot 95 pretty much at the start of the week. It led for a couple of three days. Um, I was happy with 95, thought it was going to pretty much do the job right to the end. Um, then George comes um, comes along, goes and shoots 97, which is absolutely unbelievable. Um, if you shot the course, people will appreciate what the 97 was out there. Um, and then John Lee goes and shoots a 96 again today, so ended up third. But I'm happy with that. For it's the end of the clay shooting season for me. Um, I'm finished now. Now I've had a good year. Um, I'm happy with what I've done this year. So. We'll see what next year brings. Um, it's time to go and shoot some game and just have a wind down now for the season. Rizzini shooter Barney Eastman is delighted to have won the Colts prize in the sport trap. He's only just scraped into the category by a few days. This is my final major competition within the Colt category and I'm junior next Friday. I thought it was a very, very good course, especially a sport trap layout. I think it eased you in very nicely towards the end that you had a 
the t last two layouts I would definitely say were a little bit more tricky than others, but I really did enjoy it, yeah. Sporting, I thought it was one of the best courses I've shot all year. Yeah, the Gravity Rabbit, that was quite a, quite a tricky target I found, but it was, I thought, yeah, it was a very good variety of targets overall, around both courses, Sporting and Sport Trap. I'd say this is definitely one of the top, top shoots I've been to this year and I'm looking forward to coming back as a junior next year and seeing what I can do then. With the sport trap over, it's all eyes on the sporting. On Sunday morning, scores are reset to zero and the finalists set off round the brand new 75 bird course with everything to play for. Maybe it's the wind and light drizzle, but the big names are dropping the odd target more than you'd expect. George Digweed shoots a 66, while Richard Bunning and Richard Folds fall behind with 65. So the hottest favourites have dropped out of the race. Top of the leaderboard are Browning shooter Chris Childerhouse and Sam Usher, both on 69. Close behind is Martin Myers on 68. And after a shoot-off we have Martin Doughty, Nathan Skinner and Julian Freeman completing the lineup for the six-man super final. The contenders battle it out over three stands in front of an eager crowd of spectators. Chris drops two on the first stand while Sam misses just one to take the lead. Nathan Skinner puts in a strong challenge on stand two, closing the gap. But at the end, Sam is the clear winner. After coming runner-up to Brodie Woolard last year, he's king of the castle, the British Open sporting champion 2022. And he's over the moon. I felt I chopped pretty well on the, on the um, Thursday when I competed in the, the qualifying event, but I didn't know how I felt being the top score, because often that can give you that little bit of extra pressure to come in, come in today into the finals. But managed to just keep myself together and I, I thought I was actually a couple of light going around the 75 bird tournament but managed to come out okay and, and make the final and yeah really really happy to, to come away with the title. Big first first big major win so yeah really really happy and just want to say congratulations to everyone else who's managed to win category and class and the runners up and everyone shot so well and, and the team here did such a good event. Um, yeah really really pleased.